Hello there gamers, I'm the 8-Bit Ninja and today we are back again with another beta. Now this is Castle Story. Uh, this is a game still in the prototype stages, the alpha uh, stages of the game. And you can't actually get access to this game right now. You can only get access to it if you did donate to their Kickstarter, which they had up a while ago. Now I did do that, uh, I actually forgot that I did that, but apparently I did that, and I have this game installed on my computer, uh, I seem to have forgotten my password, so I can't update it, but I do have the old version installed, and we're gonna play it and have some fun with it, because I enjoy doing betas right now for some reason, betas are just fun, but what we do in this game is we use our minions here to go around and we build a castle, now I think eventually we are supposed to defend that castle from something, I'm not sure what exactly from the trailer. It looks like uh, as soon as we mine this weird blue crystal there and try and take that back to our house, we then get attacked uh, so long as we do it at night, I think. I'm not exactly sure, but we'll, we'll figure that out as we go along through this game. All right, so we're going to go ahead and set some guys up to chop some trees down. Okay, so we can go ahead and remove this first group because we don't need it. Now, I don't know much about this game, but I do know the basic controls, because I did need to figure that out before playing it. Because otherwise, yeah, I'm just a stuttering mess, and don't know what I'm doing by any means at all. Alright, but we can go ahead and set up some platforms to hold this wood here. So we'll set them up right like so. Quite a few. Because uh, these things do get filled up pretty fast. And you want to have them at least two blocks away generally because otherwise they get stuck in there and that's never good all right but that should be good for now now we got to go put some guys in this group we'll get these two that we haven't used in anything yet there we go and we're gonna build our castle up here I strategically selected this location for no reason whatsoever but uh, it has high ground and it looks nice so we're gonna use this spot here I think eventually we'll try and move over here because I really like the way the spot looks and it looks cool but right now there's no way to get to that island as you can see now there do seem to be some ores some blue ores uh, like this one here let's see if I can actually get into it uh, like that one there uh, those are pretty much all over the place. I'm not sure what we can do with those or if we can do anything with them even. But they seem to be everywhere and they seem to be like a power source of some sort for these guys. And yeah, so we're going to try and figure out what all is in this game, what all we can do. And hopefully we should by the end of this Let's Play and it should be fun. Alright, so once we get this going then things should be really interesting. Now we're also going to need a place where we can mine some. I believe we're going to come over here and just mine a big block out of this. Now here comes in the music. I really love the music for this game. It's kind of a retro uh, atmospheric sound. It's really interesting and nice. I like it. Uh, and it sounds really good, so that's good. <laughs> Alright, let's get them started. Now once they finish up that, once they finish up chopping up there, uh, we can then actually start mining and then begin our, our actual casual castle construction. But they still have a, quite a bit of wood chopping left to do. Alright, but as you can see, they can run into each other and that can kind of be a pain sometimes. But they don't seem to do it that often, so it's not too big a deal. But we're going to try and clear out this entire area up here. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. This entire area right here so that we can, uh, so that we can build our castle there. Alright, it looks like these guys are chopping some wood down. There we go. And it's all falling down. That's alright though, because we don't actually need it. Alright, now get to work on some other trees. Ah, stupid dog, stop barking. Alright, so we'll, you can actually manually make them do that by left-clicking them, and then right-clicking the tree, and then they'll manually uh, chop down the trees. Rather than pick up the wood, if you want them to just chop down the trees, you can do that. But right now, we just need them to chop down the trees, so picking up wood is not too big a deal, and we'll leave it for the other guys. Alright. And clearly, that, dog, that guy doesn't care if we want the other guys to do it or not. Alright, now hopefully we have all the platforms set up. Not quite yet. Once those get set up, we'll put these other guys on chopping down wood, and then we should finish in a matter of seconds, hopefully. Alright, so as you can see, there are day-night cycles, and this... This world just looks amazing. I really love the way it looks, especially for a prototype, it looks very good. Uh, we're kind of over an ocean place, 
and we're just on these floating islands in the middle of nowhere so it's it's got a very atmospheric feel to it and it's pretty nice and the day night cycles uh, the sun actually rises and sets it's setting over there right now as you can see and then I believe the moon will rise I'm not exactly sure I haven't actually played it through the night yet and hopefully nothing will attack us in the night and where did our guys though there they are all right so hopefully they'll finish up chopping down these trees real fast get to work on chopping down that tree all right now that they got all the platforms down we can go ahead and switch these guys over to wood shopping go on over there all right there we go and they should head on up there and then get to work on that all right now hopefully they won't take any of these logs because every time they move the logs it seems to take quite a while uh, there's no easy way around getting them to move the logs uh, they have to do it every time they chop down a tree, and it can be a bit annoying, but that's alright. So, let's see. Now, I want to find a section that we can start mining, because I want to get that started before we finish chopping down wood. That way we can leave some guys chopping down wood. And what are you doing in that group? You're supposed to be in that group. Thank you very much. Alright, so we'll go ahead and get a mining section over here. We'll just mine out this entire block right here. Uh, that ought to be good right there. Okay, so we'll get them started on that. Nope, that is how we want it, right like that. Okay, so we can go ahead and switch. We'll switch just three of these guys so that we can get them going. Now, they'll have to take their uh, stone once they're done mining. They'll have to take it all the way back over here. So that might take a while, uh, but I'll find something to fill in the time while we talk about that. Okay, so these guys have stopped chopping altogether. That can be annoying, but we'll go ahead and get them manually chopping. There you go. Now as you can see at nighttime this thing glows. So I think we're actually going to be able to grab some of these crystals at nighttime. I'm not sure though because I haven't gotten that far yet, but we will see. Okay. So let's see, is the moon out? Nope. But we do have stars. There's the moon. Okay, so it does actually rise and set. Yeah, the moon does itself. Now there are islands way out here. I'm not sure if we can even get to these islands ever. But I would like to try later on. I want to try and reach some of these islands because they're way far away. Now, uh, the building aspect of this game doesn't seem to work too great. It works pretty well, and over time I'm sure they'll fix it. But there are some glitches with building, and it doesn't always work perfectly. Now, as you can see, all these guys, they have bags of stone, and they're going to have to bring them all the way back over there. And it looks like... Where have they been mining it? It looks like they've been mining this place right here. Hmm. And decided to start it in the middle. Oh well. Okay. So those guys are up there chopping down their trees. And there's not much else we can do right now. There's not an easy way to speed this up or anything. That would also be a nice addition. But frankly I see why they don't add that. Because that can be a bit obnoxious. Alright. Now the camera controls in this are pretty confusing. They don't work perfectly. But once you're used to them they actually work quite fluently. And I really enjoy using them once you're used to them. It makes sense that they set them up like that. It can be really annoying to work with at first, though, uh, because you do have to sp hit space to move around, and then you use different uh, different clicks to move them around, and then the arrow keys and all that stuff, and it can just be annoying, but uh, I, I figure it works pretty well, especially for an alpha build, and as, as they go along, they'll fix it up more. All right, so what are you doing now? You guys still got to get more wood? Okay. And these guys should be mining. Oh, they decided to go way up to the top. Alright, that works for me. Now, they're getting more stone. Uh, let's see if we can see exactly what they build. Alright, so as you can see, they built these weird little stone-like places. Or stone box places. Now, once those are full, they will actually turn into stone slabs rather than just boxes. And we use those to construct our castle. Alright, let's see. Now this game is somewhat similar to uh, Prison Architect, not really, but in the way that it is a building game. And I don't know why I'm doing building games right now, it's just, I found these two games and they're both really fun, so I thought, hey, why not? It's, it's for the fun of it, so once that guy chops down that tree, this guy should work with him. Uh, let's see, is there another tree up here? There is. Okay, we'll go ahead and get him chopping down that tree then. There we go. All right. Did he fill up that one? Not quite. Alright, we got two more guys coming there. 
and this seems to be going pretty well. Now, there might be boring moments in this uh, actual Let's Play because you have to build in it, so there's not much you can do other than just watch, but eh, it's not too bad, and frankly, it's pretty fun. Alright, let's see. X-ray vision. Terrain flyby. Hmm. So if we push alt... Oh, and then the camera goes on the terrain rather than just flying through everything. That's pretty neat. That's a nice little feature there. Alright, that way we can watch out for them and keep our camera on the terrain rather than flying off. Although, I prefer the normal one. Alright. He's almost got that tree. There's one last tree left to get, so we'll go ahead and set this guy up to get that one. Then we're going to want to get some of these trees over here because we're going to want to have a big castle extending out and then we're gonna try and branch off this way that way we can get to our ideal location all right let's see there's not much else we can talk about right now i suppose i'll talk about the charity event that i'm going to be doing next month now over the course of next month i'm going to be giving all of the money i make on youtube to charity and it's going to bring you lots of fun so i hope that some of you guys will subscribe and join me for that uh, all of the money is going to charity. Now, I won't actually know how much we make until a few months after, because that's just how TGN likes to play it. They don't like to tell people until a couple months after, and they don't really have a good way of tracking it until that point. Alright, you go and chop down this tree. But 100% of the money will be going to charity. I'm going to be doing live stream events, uh, and just everything I can do to help promote the videos and just make more money on YouTube. And it's for good cause, so now I don't sound quite so greedy. Because, I mean, I like making money, but frankly it's never been about the money. This hobby is for myself to have fun. And uh, it, it's just fun interacting with my viewers and playing all these sweet games and doing commentaries of them. I really enjoy it. Because uh, otherwise, you know, gaming almost sounds... Well, I don't want to say meaningless because it's fun and that's why you game, but I, I enjoy doing commentaries because it makes me feel good about uh, playing games rather than just playing games and wasting time. Because then I have a reason that I can say I play games and I make some money off of it to play more games and it works. Not very well, but it works. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Go ahead and wall out of this mountain. It's going to look pretty awesome. Alright, I'll go ahead and zoom back out because that can be annoying. Let's call them my minions because that works. They listen to me and they obey me because I am their ruler uh, who sits in a chair that flies around and it's fun. <laughs> Alright, let's see. This guy's name. What's your name? What's your name? Orn? Horos? Rosa? And I don't miss. I'm probably pr mispronouncing like all of those. Oh well, that's alright. I feel sorry for people who are watching this video and have those names, and I just totally screwed up your name. As you can see, they actually now constructed some stone slabs, so we can actually start building some. We'll go ahead and put some up here, actually. Uh, is it almost daytime? Because frankly, I'm getting tired of the night. It looks like... Where's the, s the moon at? It must be directly above us, because I don't see it anywhere. Hmm. Alright, well, that's too bad. Hopefully a day will come around pretty soon so that we can actually see something. Because it is actually pretty hard to see at night. But I think you can craft light sources later on. But if we go ahead and select this one, we can then select stone slabs. And I believe there's a way to rotate them. I want to figure out... Yes, okay. There is a way to rotate them. So we'll go ahead and put some... Let's see. Where would be a good place? I'd say right there. Okay, we're going to start putting them right there. And build ourselves a freaking castle. All right. Now, I'm not an expert castle builder, so this castle is probably going to look pretty bad. But that's alright, because that's how castles look sometimes. Not very often, but when they're built by people like me. <laughs> alright, so... That doesn't go quite as far as I wanted to. It probably won't be a very big castle, considering it's our first castle. But it should be uh, of decent size. So we'll go ahead... Hmm. Alright, well, it's going to be a pretty small castle now. But, alright, we'll try and add some second floors if we can. I'm not sure if we can actually do that or not, but we'll see. And then we could actually add a back, a back room onto this as well to extend it more. Alright, let's try and keep everything even, because I don't know how to actually destroy blocks after we misplace them. If we misplace them, that is. Alright, that looks 
decent. Let's see. Can I not put one right there? Oh, yikes. That's not what I wanted to do. Remove. Is there a way to remove that? Apparently not. Oh, well. Alright, put one right there. Then we'll just have a gaping hole for an entrance for now, because that's how we like to play things. Alright, now we're going to switch things up and switch the rotation of these bricks, like so. Now, we don't actually have anyone constructing this castle. I should probably set that up. There we go. Ah, no! A misplaced block. Ah, evil. Oh, well. Try and just finish off this second row here, and then we'll get them working on it. Now, hopefully I won't misplace anymore, because that is pretty bad. Oh, well. Now, we are going to need quite a few blocks, as you can see. Uh, you only get four, I believe, per, per each thing that you make like that. So, we don't really have enough blocks to finish this right now. But if we go ahead and go like that, we can then select these guys and get them working on it, rather than just standing around. But as you can see, we have eight blocks right now, which isn't very many. But they'll continue to work on that and bring us more blocks. Now, let's see if we actually hit any ore. I don't think we did. But as you can see, there are lots of rocks just sitting there. Let's see if we can get a bit closer. There are actually rocks sitting there, and they actually suck those up and then put them into the bag. So there are actually physical rocks that they pick up, which is pretty interesting. All right, let's see if they'll freaking go and set this up. And we're probably going to end this uh, video pretty soon because... I'll try and get this base wall uh, set up without you guys, that way you don't have to watch me just set things up, and then we can uh, continue on after that and see what all we can build, because it looks like we can actually build a catapult, a barrel, a plank, some columns, a log, there's just all sorts of things we can build, and I think there's actually more than what's here as well, so it should be pretty interesting. Well, I think I'm going to leave you guys for now, and I'll try and continue working on this castle over the next few days. And then tomorrow, or not tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, I don't know when I'll record, but in the next episode, we'll try and finish our castle up and make it look freaking awesome, and then continue on to where our main castle is going to be. And it should be fun, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this game. It's pretty interesting. It might not be the most entertaining Let's Play of all time. I think that would actually be the Don't Starve Let's Play. I am actually really enjoying that game. For those of you who are interested in checking that out, I encourage you to check out my channel and check out some of my other series as well because they are lots of fun. And that's going to be it for today, so I hope you guys have enjoyed. So uh, be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. This has been the 8-Bit Ninja with Castle Story. Peace out, the 8-Bit Ninja.